social meaning. In a previous video, we introduced the idea that there are three aspects of meaning, informational meaning, emotional meaning, and social meaning. In this video, we're going to focus on social meaning. The social meaning indicates the interpersonal social relationship between the speaker and the hearer. What we find is there are certain words in the language whose sole purpose is to indicate relationships between speakers and hearers. So for example, the word sorry just simply indicates that relationship between the hearer and the speaker, indicating that the speaker is apologizing. Um, a greeting like hello has no informational meaning and real no no real emotional meaning. Its sole purpose is as a social greeting. We're going to focus in this video on the social meaning of taboo words. Now, social meaning, like emotional meaning, is often associated with connotation. And I'm not fond of using that term connotation because it's often associated with kind of a certain amount of squishiness, that it's too subjective to talk about in any sort of empirical way, which is nonsense. Of course, we can talk about connotation in a very rigorous, objective, empirical way. Social meaning refers to those conventional aspects of a word's meaning that contribute societal or interactional features to a sentence. Tabooness is a part of a word's social meaning. The, de the defining feature of taboo words is that they have high tabooness. That is a social meaning. Formality is also a part of a word's social meaning. So there are certain words like, for example, feces is more formal than, say, poop. And of course, shit is pretty informal. There are also other features such as being a compliment, an insult, a promise, a thank you, etc., which are all aspects of social meaning. And in part, it is social meaning that we are getting at when we say that the French word merde means shit. Now, informationally, merde also means shit. And emotionally, mad also means shit, but we also see socially. That is to say that they are both taboo words. And in fact, they probably have about the same level of tabooness in English and in French. That is to say, they're fairly low-grade taboo words. They're not highly taboo like other words in the language.